What's good guys, Fury Fight here and today we've got an exclusive set of matches from Liang Hub and uh, this is for his channel and uh, he's going to be playing Blanka, Guile and Ken I believe and uh, these are going to be some endless matches versus some top level players Liang showing his multiple character knowledge which is very hard to do at this point in the game due to gimmicks just simply not working versus good players anymore everyone knows everything in their matchups so uh, let's see how he performs um, the first game is going to be Liang Hub playing as Blanka versus Matt Hazard playing as Goken and um, this matchup's quite difficult for Goken because Goken has you know he has one of the best fireballs in the game uh, amazing recovery and can zone most characters quite sufficiently but obviously you can't really zone Blanka because he's got slide so from certain range you just simply cannot throw fireballs because you can reaction slide them pretty much every single time and from full screen once blank has got meter you can just ex ball um so you're going to see matt hazard use a lot of safe jump setups which can be a little bit wonky because of blanker's hitbox but he does have an average wake up time i seem to believe um so you can you know most of your setups will work on him um and you're going to see liang play very scrapey he's going to do bits of damage get out um Go for mix-ups, but not too heavily because Gokin does have options to get him off him. But you're going to see Liang have a relatively easy time getting in. Um, better than most characters because Gokin doesn't have like a Ryu Crouch Strong or anything like that, which just dominates the footsie game. Um, so let's get straight into it and uh, see how this game is opened up. And uh, Liang going straight for that jab ball gimmick. Uh, Matt Hazard not falling for it and just fireballing him straight out there. Pushing him to the other side of the screen. And uh, Matt trying to do some uh, frame traps but not working. Liang just uh, goes straight in with the uh, electricity. And he's got him in the corner here. Matt Hazard being very confident and focusing that electricity. Liang not doing jab into electricity. Which, you know, it can be quite strange sometimes. And uh, Matt Hazard playing defensively here. Tries to go for the dive kick mix up. But it doesn't work out. And Liang's up balls out. And he's got all the pressure in the world. Matt Hazard using so many focuses this game. Which is so risky versus Blanka due to a jab electricity. But there we go. There's the big EX Tatsu. And uh, now Liang's going to be pushed back and have to work his way in. He's got the throw. He's going to have a mix up here. Goes for the cross up. Tries to tick throw, but it doesn't work out. And Matt Hazard's now got him cornered. Uh, Liang breaking that throw. And let's we'll see how Matt tries to open him up. And there we go. He focuses that rainbow roll. And he's going to ultra out. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, that rainbow roll doesn't armor break. And, uh, so you can focus it. But one thing blankers can do is they can just make the rainbow roll uh, whiff. And because it lands pretty much instantly, you can then throw them. And uh, let's get straight into the next game. And... Uh, Liang playing a little bit more aggressively here. Goes for the slide and punishes that fireball. And he's just going straight in. Trying to make Matt Hazard take that scrapey damage. And Matt Hazard's cornered. So he's trying to fireball his way out. And there's that whiff the rainbow I was talking about. And uh, there we go. He's just he's going straight in there. Just using so many blank balls. This is really... It kind of can be kind of risky unless you use drab balls. But there we go. He just, he just completely wins clean. So that scrapey damage from Blanco is just hitting you again and again and you know everything Blanco does pushes him out so far unless it's electricity but it just it's so scrapey it does so little damage but Yang yeah, making it work for him which is very like you know very good and uh, Matt has a combos into the sweep he's got Liang cornered Let's see how he wow look, this level 3 focus just goes for it I'm trying to go for that level 2 Yomi but it doesn't work out and uh now Matt Hazard has got the momentum, he gets another untackable knockdown, just goes for fireball game and Blanka has a lot of meter here so he's only going to throw fireballs when Blanka walks forward and uh, wow that was gutsy, just reacts to the uh, hop forward and just goes for the EX Tatsu and there you go, it just wins out clean and uh, yeah that's that right there is an example of how you have to play a matchup from both sides um, you have to have good defence but the defence that Goken has has to be quite footsie based um, and you have to know the spaces in which you can throw fireballs and get a little bit of free damage it's also a very meter based match because dependent upon Go um, Blanka's meter it completely changes how much um, how many options you have to get in Matt Hazard just playing it playing it perfectly Go played very focus heavy and just kind of made Liang um, try and punish it in the later games but Liang didn't kind of see that Matt Hazard seemed to be 
swaying him into this uh, gameplay style where he was always going for focus break and instead of like uh, really hard to block mix ups and uh, Matt Hazard just yeah just a, a level ahead it seemed in that game and uh, let's go straight into the next one and uh, in this one Liang's going to be playing as Guile versus Houndorf I'm not even going to try and pronounce that but uh, yeah he's going to be playing Guile versus Scat and um, this matchup is quite interesting I really enjoy this matchup personally um from certain ranges, uh, Guile can actually command the fireball game because he can use like his back fist, you know, standard Guile stuff where he recovers quicker than you and then punishes you for um, exchanging fireballs. But um, obviously, from full screen, Sagat has complete dominance. Um, so it's, it's quite a weird one. Um, when you're up close as Sagat versus Guile, um, well, more mid range game, you have to decide whether you want to get out or you want to go in. Um, which seems obvious, but Sagat's mid-range game versus Guile isn't fantastic. Um, he's got some footsie tools. Um, he's got good footsie tools, but it just doesn't really compete with EX Sonic Boom and just normal Sonic Boom. So uh, let's go straight into it. And let's see how this match opens up. And, uh, wow, big carrot uppercut there. Just really ballsy. It goes for a very interesting block string. And uh, he's going to put Liang straight in the corner. Just locking him down with frame traps and safe tiger knees. Uh, Liang's going to have to try and fight his way out. Just uppercut. Just really gutsy play here. Just not giving Liang any respect. And uh, Liang's got to be fearful of that uppercut now. He's done it so many times. Just big carrot uppercuts. And. Uh, Hound just keeping him in the corner with those fireballs and Yang doing a nice dash through there. Uh, doesn't get punished. He's got the sweep. He goes for the overhead and Hound doesn't block it. And uh, wow, there's a stare down there. And uh, yeah, slowly working his way out the corner. But so little help. He just had to jump and uh, unfortunately gets carry up. Cut and uh, and um, Yang's going to go into his next game a little bit nervous because Hound's just so aggressive with those uh, carry tiger uppercuts. Terrifying gameplay. And, uh, Actually playing a little bit more passive here. And, uh, that tiger knee didn't look very safe. Uh, but that one definitely is. And Liang's just getting pushed into the corner by all those tiger knee block strings. There we go. That's not a true block string. You can flash the kick out of it. Liang hops to very smart gameplay there. But uh, just getting pushed in the corner. Safe tiger knee. Goes for the throw. He's got set up here. But, oh, he messes up himself, unfortunately. And Liang's going to fight his way out of the corner. They're at mid screen now. So Liang has a lot of screen to work with. I'm just empty jump cross up into the uh, DP which is crazy oh my god that's terrifying just so gutsy oh he doesn't go into the ultra but it doesn't matter he finishes out the game with a paratiger knee the most gutsy Sagat play I've seen in a long time there Lang just never got to start up that footsie game unfortunately and uh, you know Sagat just dominated him just safe pressure string over and over again maybe Liang could have repped a few more um uh, flash kicks to bait, break through the non-true block strings and maybe convince Hound to lay off a little bit so he could have gained a bit more space and tried to build momentum but um, yeah just fantastic play there from Hound just not giving a fuck in that matchup um, yeah and you know let's uh, get straight into the next game um, and uh, let's see who Liang is playing this time and it is going to be Liang playing as Blanco versus a Ryu player and this matchup, I'm sure Liang is very experienced and it. it's hard not to be experienced versus Ryu, but fighting, I'm sure everyone's fought a Blanca in their time and fighting Blanca is just so annoying, just due to like, he just negates footsies it feels sometimes, due to his um, slide and just the sheer amount of active frames and he can just gimmick you out once he gets in, just, you know, all that sort of stuff but uh, once again um, the Ryu player can't really throw fireballs he can from certain ranges like full screen and like mid to full screen but um, as soon as Blanca gets any closer it's then the Ryu player is going to be repping things like crouch strong to beat out slide or stand short which will make the slide whiff at certain ranges which can be a very interesting choice but it's quite advanced he's also going to be looking for focuses obviously to beat the slide um, Ryu's just got superior footsies uh, simply put so he's going to want to anti air. He's going to have to have solid anti air, solid, solid footsies, and you really don't need to rush Blanca down in this matchup. Um, so it's all going to be about Liang being patient and looking for the correct moment to attack when um, the right player gets comfortable in his uh, footsie and zoning games, and you can just kind of take advantage of that and sway the match to his side. So let's get it started. 
Let's see how this match opens up. They kind of walk back, playing a little bit defensive here. And you see, this is it. This is the footsie game. And that's a crouch strong. He's repping it. And uh, he punishes that neutral jump with a blanket ball. It's hard to neutral jump that thing. He goes straight into the electricity from the jump in. Doing more scrapey damage. And uh, he's backing off a little bit. And tries to focus on the EX fireball. Just, you know, one of those things that happens. And here we go. He's got him in the corner. And that's going to be hard to fight his way out. Managed to predict the rainbow ball whiffing, which is very smart. It is a guess. You just have to guess what they're going to do. And uh, Liang is trying to push him back, trying to get that scrapey damage and do a little bit of footsies here. And uh, wow, there we go. Big blanker ball just finishes out the round. And uh, Liang re reacted really well to being in that corner game. Uh, he didn't get too flustered and do anything stupid. He did go for the rainbow roll and he didn't pay off, but it wasn't a massive punish, so he didn't really have to worry about it. And uh, he's going into this next round with a lot of meter, so he's going to have options to get in. Big jump in, he's got the electricity knocked down, goes for the little hot ball there, and uh, ooh, he unfortunately misses his lightning and gets the crouch fierce, which is something that's going to happen a lot if you're a new banker player, but Liang just messing up his inputs. He's going to get the throw here, he's going to wave his way out of the corner, goes for the hop and then the cross up, goes straight into the crouch short electricity, which is a hard link, but he does it, and... He's cornered once again, unfortunately, and Roy player just rushing him down using things like Tatsu is really risky. And interesting mix-ups here from Liang, and Liang actually repping that really close range footsies with Blanca, which, you know, it's not that effective, so to see it work is very surprising. The only thing he really has is the electricity, and this is going to be a tight situation. He cannot get chipped out or he's going to lose this game. Liang being very, very patient, and uh, just waiting and oh there we go he tried to he read the um the ex ball jumped back to try and punish it but unfortunately it doesn't work out and uh he just got hit by the electricity just timed it a little bit too late unfortunately and yeah and close it out there once again with that blank a scrapey aim and just pulled out a very smart play there from Liang not getting too flustered trying to get that final hit just played it patient knew the right player had to come to him he couldn't throw fireball so he didn't have to worry about chip it's a really smart play there and uh, the next match we've got is uh, Liang Hub playing as Ken this time versus Makoto player and I I quite like this matchup for Ken Ken can dominate the footsies with his forward forward and his crouch forward um, and quite quickly push Makoto into the corner. Uh, he doesn't have to worry too much unless Makoto has meter. Once she has meter, she has defensive options. And uh, Yang's going to have to option select a lot. Um, you can't let Makoto just backdash. Um, if you know that you can backdash as a Makoto player, you just rep it constantly and not worry about it. Um, so you're going to see some... It's going to all be about how Liang plays his offensive game. Um, what's his style and the Makoto player is going to have to react to that and adapt constantly adapting because that's Makoto's general gameplay but obviously Liang Hub being a very good player he's going to adapt also so it's a big mental battle that goes back and forth and uh, let's get started and uh, they're both playing a little bit defensive a little bit hesitant to go in Liang hits a big combo there he's going to push Makoto into the corner Makoto has no meter so it's going to be hard Goes straight into the low from the jump jab, which is quite an interesting mix-up. That doesn't work. That's a safe jump, and he's gonna, Liang just going straight in. He's got the dizzy. He's going to build some meter from that last hit there. Um, could have built a little bit more, but you know, just wanted to finish it straight out, which is fair enough, and hits the perfect R. Kelly, and uh, there we go. And uh, he's going into the next match with a bit of meter. The Makoto player also has meter, so he has to be a little bit more careful in his offense, but... Wow, guts the uppercut there, has the meter to cancel it though, so he doesn't care, and he's pushing Makoto into the corner, but backs off a little bit, and I don't know if I agree with that, but, you know, he can play the footsie game, and he can dominate it, so it doesn't matter, and he's got him back into the corner, he's gonna hit a big, big combo here, lots of scaling, and there we go, that's the EX Karakuza, but he messes up his link, and uh, goes for the overhead, and it hits fortunately, he's got him in the corner, that doesn't work on Ken to my knowledge, but he could have gone for the forward short. Um, just a desperation move there. Um, you can use Ultra 2 to get out of certain pressure games, like when you're being cornered. But unfortunately, he used it uh, far too early. And, um, well, not early. He was kind of, it was the wrong spacing. Um, Liang was stood at the mid screen, so wherever the Makoto player landed, 
he was going to be able to punish and you know he went for the roundhouse version which typically goes glides straight over them and you're safe but because he stood mid screen it just didn't matter he just blocked it and punished and there we have it guys that is the end of the set and uh amazing play there from all the players um really high level liang hub showing a lot of character knowledge and uh yeah a lot of mind games as well it was really nice to see a blanker player because you, you just it's so rare to see it nowadays he's so low tier and it's so hard to play uh, especially with such a low damage output um so it's really nice to see that and uh, you're seeing that liang knows the matchups but obviously he's uh, playing at a high level so everyone knows the matchups and it can be really difficult i can't emphasize this enough to play that many characters to that level and uh shout out to liang hub for letting me do this video and uh, I hope you enjoy, guys. You can follow me on Twitter, uh, at Fairy Fighter, obviously. And uh, you can go to my YouTube channel, which is also Fairy Fighter. And uh, I hope to see you soon, guys. Peace.